Hello Warfusel Mel Commander players, I'm Prospo and I welcome you to 88 Scout. Today we have the full deck tech for the Zobis Tribal deck in Dimir Colors. Hope you enjoy! The Zombies Tribe has plenty of Fifnet combos in blue-black combination of colors. We have described them in previous videos of the channel. Today we will try to add these combos into a nice flavorful typal deck for the Zombies Tribe in these colors. We suggest to have Wilhelt the Rod Cleaver as the commander, as he is the most flavorful Zombies Tribal commander and he is part of some of the combos as well. In the deck there are two more legends in these colors that can lead the deck as well. Feel free to use them as commanders if you like. The main theme of the deck is the Zombies Tribe of course. We will focus on filling the board with zombies and win the game either by overrunning the opponents or by assembling one of the powerful combos. At the end of the video we will discuss some budget alternatives as well. Let's get into it. Let's start the deck tech with the ramp cards. Rooftop Storm is the most important ramp spell for the zombies as it is a part of many combos as well. Undead Wardship is the most flavorful ramp spell for the zombies. He acts as powerful lord as well. Crowded Crypt is the most flavorful mana rock for the tribe. We will add Bontus Monument as well in order to reduce the cost of black spells and gain some life as well. Vesper Ghoul is the only mana dork for the zombies. We will add Sampling Gust for a treasure as well. Let's add some two mana mana rocks in our colors. This version of Arcane Signet from Commander Masters is perfect for this deck. The other two rocks are Talisman of Dominance and Dimir Signet. Some colorless ramp will help as well with the flavorful Asnot's Altar and Mindstone to have a card draw as backup. We have added 14 card draw effects in the deck alongside with Mindstone from the ramp spells. We have our commander Wilhelt, the Rot Cleaver, who will lead this section of course. He helps to draw a card once it's turn if you sacrifice a zombie. Focusing on the sacrifice theme, Arc Wool of Thraben, an undead augur, will draw cards each time a zombie dies. We will get more generic card draw triggers once our creatures die with Midnight Reaper and Ileana's Dreadhorde General Static Ability. We will get more card advantage when Grave Defiler ETBs and when Corpse Augur dies. Let's use our zombies to draw cards using the second ability of Crypt Breaker. Grave Spawn Sovereign will use our zombies to reanimate a creature from the opponent's graveyards. And Graveborn News will draw many cards its upkeep. Drog Necromancer will help steal our opponent's dying creatures. With Gisa and Geralt, we will play a zombie from our graveyard its turn. And finally, Horde Wings Cub except of giving flying to our zombies, helps with card filtering. We have 12 targeted removals in the deck. We have already mentioned Liliana, Dreadhorde General, with her second ability, and Sampling Gust with his death trigger. Green Green, Corpseborn, has a nice removal attack trigger ability, and Enter the God Eternals is a flavorful removal spell in Dimir Colors. Liliana, Untouched by Death, is a combo piece for her third ability, but her second ability is a nice flavorful removal. Two zombies with exploit abilities boost the sacrifice theme and act as removals as well. These are the Overcharged Almargam and the Rot Tide Gargantua. We will sacrifice some of our zombies in order to kill the opposing creatures. Stronghold Assassin and Ravenous Rot Belly will do the job. Finally, we will add some traditional but flavorful removal spells such as Deadly Plot, Eaten Alive and Murderous Rider. We have added 4 board wipes in the deck, starting with Liliana's Dreadhorde General last ability. Noxious Ghoul is the most flavorful board wipe for the tribe. 
necromantic selection has a bit high mana value, but it's worth it for its flavor. And of course, Liliana's Death's Majesty, last ability, will clear the board from non-zombie creatures. We have one tutor in the deck, and it is Corpse Harvester, in order to fit with the sacrifice team and find our valuable combo pieces. Many of our combos need free sacrifice outlets to run. We have added six of them in the deck. We have already discussed Astronaut's Altar and Grim Green. Carrion Feeder and Corpse Blockade will lead the way. Followed by Phyrexian Ghoul and Nantuko Husk. The game-winning combos are one of the main strategies of the deck. The next few cards are pieces of these combos that you can find explanation of them in the other videos that you can find the links in the description. We start with Mikaeus, the Unhollowed, Gravecrawler and Sedraxis Alchemist. Necro Duality and Poppet Stitcher that transforms to Poppet Factory. Acer Erak, the Arxlitz and Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Gleaming Overseer and Havenful Lich. Razorless Transmogrant, Putrid Goblin and Rot Hulk. We have added six finishers in the deck. Plague Belcher and Vengeful Dead will make our opponents lose one life each time a zombie dies. Diagraph Captain is a nice zombie lord that has the same ability. Lich Lord of Unx's second ability helped to close out the game. With Diagraph Colossus we will create many zombie tokens, and with Embalmer's tools we will mill out our opponents. Two more slots are given to other lords in order to boost our zombies. These are Eternal Skylord and Lord of the Accursed. Let's finish the deck tech with the lands. We have added 36 lands and one MDFC, which is Malachi Rebirth. Saddle of the Accursed will help by creating a zombie token. Vault of Whispers is a nice flavorful artifact land, and Bojuka Bog will help as Graveyard Hate. Unholy Grotto is the most flavorful land for the Zombies tribe. Haunted Fengraf and Port of Karnfell help with our graveyard as well. Nephalia Drownyard and Dusk Mantle House of Shadows help with the mill and self-mill strategy. We choose this flavorful version of Field of Ruin as land distraction from Theros Beyond Death. Of course we will add Polluted Delta as a fetch land in our colors and we will fetch Watery Grave and Sunken Hollow. Other duals in our colors are the Demir Augerdak, Drowned Catacomb and Dark Water Catacombs. Of course we will add Command Tower and three of the Taipal lands, Secluded Courtyard, Unclaimed Territory and Path of Ancestry. We will finish the deck with 10 basic swamps and 7 basic islands. This was our Zombies Tribal deck deck in Dimir Colors. We reached total 1028 flavor points for the Zombies Tribe. We spent about 220 US dollars for this deck. Most of the budget was spent in a few really expensive cards. Let's look for some budget alternatives. Instead of Polluted Delta, we will add Bad River, the slow fetch land in these colors. Watery Grave can give its place to another fetchable dual, Fetid Pools. There is no similar budget alternative for Unholy Grotto. We will add Myriad Landscape for some more ramp. Let's change Necro Duality with Cleaver's Cub in order to make more zombie clones. Rot Hulk 
can be replaced with Cool's Night Out for a mass reanimation spell. We can replace the Persist combo using Mikaeus with the Fate Stitchers one for infinite mana. For the same combo, we need Freed from the Real as well. With these changes, the cost of the deck reduced from 220 to 125 US dollars. It became weaker, but definitely more affordable. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments below if you would have added anything else in the deck. Please check the other videos explaining the flavorful combos in the deck. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon with more tribal flavorful deck decks.